So a lot of people think that businesses don't last in Laval West. Why? Because we see so many burger joints opening and closing and the new administrations on restaurants and failed cupcakes or whatever. But, you know, sometimes some businesses just have to close because the owner is just too old and there's nobody there to take over. But know that several businesses in Laval West have thrived over the past decades and even over several generations. And I've dug up nine of the oldest families for you, just to prove my point. <laughs> so number one is Baudouin. You may have rented a tool from Baudouin. This shop was founded by Robert Baudouin in 1976 after having worked in the car selling business with his brother Normand Baudouin. Uh, maybe you remember like a Volvo dealership or, or that eventually became a Datsun dealership in 19, from 1966 to 1979. Well, today, Robert still works uh, at Baudouin with his son, Pierre, and even a third generation that works part-time. Carbonneau. Pharmacist Pierre Carbonneau started in Laval West in 1970 at the Pharmacie Morin in Saint Rose. Uh, five years later, he partnered up with his competitor, Pharmacie Potvin, and a couple of doctors, and they opened up the medical clinic just a few doors down. In 1988, this clinic became the Jean Coutu Clinic, which was just closed a few years ago. But in 1998, Monsieur Cabano had opened a pharmacy that we know today as the Jean Coutu Pharmacy. Today, it's his son, Nicolas, who is the owner and pharmacist. Number three, Breton. The Breton family started in Laval West in 1963 with a BA gas station. Today, where the Monsieur Muffler is. And then followed by a Texaco, where the Tim Hortons is. But in 1968, he moved everything to where the IG parking lot is today. Um, maybe you remember like a Calix gas station and a Handy Andy type of hardware store. In 1970, Monsieur Breton acquired the location that he has today, um, which also included a BP gas station. So maybe you're thinking, whoa, what's going on? So many gas stations uh, in Naval West in the 70s. But I'm told that there was over like 16 or 17 of them just on Arceau Sauvé and Saint Rose. And speaking with the old timers here, they just love playing this like game of let me list all the gas stations that ever existed. It, it's quite cute. In, in the 90s, though, Monsieur Breton dropped the gas business, and, but he continued with the car parts business that he has today. And of course, the car repair garage. Jean-Guy Breton and his wife Lucille are so cute. They're in their 70s, but they just can't stay away from the family business. If ever you go to Breton, you're probably going to meet one or the other because they're always there, along with four of their sons. Uh, number four, Demers. And maybe you've no noticed something goes on behind the Metro uh, grocery store. Uh, Lucien Demers, Inc. Uh, works mainly for the city, doing like snow removal and, and painting lines on the road. Yeah, I guess somebody has to do that. But um, how old is this business? Well, technically, Lucien Demers started the snow removal business in 1957. He's also the mastermind behind the tavern Au Vieux Barry, which got destroyed a few years ago and is now La Réserve. But today, his sons are the ones who are managing the family business. O'Brien. Yeah, so there's an English family on this list. Maybe you've noticed that the Tin Man hanging out on Arceau Sauvé. This is from since 1952. Three generations of O'Briens, James, Ken, and Kelly, worked in Naval West um, and around installing and repairing heating and ventilation systems. Now, you've probably noticed that the stores closed, but the O'Briens are still in full operation just from their home office. And their specialty is converting oil furnaces to newer electric models. saint -Pierre. So, what's the first thing we see when we arrive in Naval West coming from saint eustache Yep, it's the Usinage saint -Pierre sign established in 1963 and now on the second and third generation. They do anything from like welding to mechanical tool and die stuff. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I can't explain it, but it's really quite impressive if you go all these old machines they have. Uh, technically, you could say that the business uh, started in like 1953 because they started weighing trucks for the um, for the roads, like the, the road thaw period. Number seven, Cantal. In 1950, Irene Cantal opened his first grocery store. So like most sons of grocers, it's his two sons, Henri and Yvon, who followed in his foot footsteps. Eventually, the grocery store became a metro and is now an IGA. Uh, we now have a third generation of kids managing the store and even a fourth one working part-time. Bigra. Bigra Furniture Store opened its doors in 1951 by Jean-Guy Bigra. So I'm guessing Jean-Guy is like a common name back then. Anyway, today it's owned and managed by his two kids, Pierre and Daniel Bigra. 
at the same address since the beginning. They went from like the ringer washing machines to steam frontal washing machines to basically everything in the middle. They stay in business because they offer competitive prices at great quality and great customer service. That's something that's kind of hard to find now in those big box stores. Uh, last and not least, Cardinal. Maurice Cardinal, well known for the, go the golf, Cardinal, actually started as a grocer too in 1945 on the corner of Arthur Sauvé and Saint Rose. Uh, in 1950, he built the also oh nostalgic and local landmark that was the Chateau Laval, where the Jean Coutu is today. Uh, apparently, this was a great place to stop on, on the long road from Montreal to Ottawa, where people went to sleep, eat uh, for social or com commercial meetings. Um, but the chateau unfortunately burnt in the 80s. But Mr. Cardinal quickly built the center that we now know today. Uh, but was it was sold to no the notary Taifal, who is the same Taifal who owns the Chateau Taifal uh, in St. Dorothy. So yeah, it's a small world. So of course his son Guy uh, and his kids own and operate the Golf Cardinal that has now been open since 1955 and is now 100% open to the public. So there you have it. But there is still hope for business owners in Laval West. Uh, even if the landscape has changed a lot over the past decade, the key to success, adaptation, hard work, good family relations, uh, all seem to be this common theme from, from all these entrepreneurial families. So thank you for taking the time to listen to me talk 100 miles an hour. I wish I could have said so much more. I had to keep things for, uh, short for these kind of videos. But don't hesitate to call me if you want to chat about me, if you want to call me out because I forgot somebody. Uh, but now if you want to buy and sell a house in Laval West, then really do not hesitate to call me anytime. Call us, Phil or I, at 450-314-1992. Uh, we too plan to stick around for a long, long time. Thanks.